Hi guys. So it's been a long day. It's been a long day. I'm literally already in my pajamas. Like I'm not even kidding. Like I'm wearing this to bed. I don't even care. Um, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. I'm getting ready to go on a family vacation with Josh's family and it has been the most stressful time of my life. Like, I'm not even kidding. My wedding planning is going more smoothly than this uh, family vacation. But it's fine. Now, um, in today's video and other news, I'm going to be showing you my everyday eyeshadow palettes. These are, there's quite a few of them. These are the eyeshadow palettes that I use on an everyday basis or at least a weekly basis because I do not wear makeup every single day. It just depends on if I am leaving the house. If I'm leaving the house, I will put makeup on. If I'm not, I'm not going to put makeup on. There's no point in my mind. So these are the eyeshadow palettes that I use. Now these are, I'm going to consider these a project pan because they are an everyday palette. Some of these I have hit pan on and these are the palettes I want to use up that have been in my collection for a while uh, and I want to get them out and either repurchase them or not. And I'll let you know if I am going to repurchase them or not. Where do I begin? Let's just begin with this one. This is the biggest palette I have and this is also my favorite. And this is the Laura Lee Nudie Patootie. Now this is my favorite, one of my favorite neutral palettes. A lot of these, you guys, I'm just going to tell you are neutral because I use neutral eyeshadows more than anything, so just giving you a fair warning. So this shade actually completely fell out, and I'm getting ready to hit pan in the two shimmers that are in the palette. See how there's like a huge dip in them? This is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. It is one of my favorites. Honestly, I think one of the best neutral palettes on the market as far as quality goes. It's phenomenal. It is it's so good. It just I don't have enough words to describe to you how good this eyeshadow palette is. It's just good. Let's I didn't want to do swatches because I don't have um a makeup remover wipe near me, but I will. That's so pretty. Also, you guys, I am wearing nails, so it is kind of harder for me to do things. <laughs> Just a little bit harder than a normal person to do things, because I have nails on. I don't think I have anything. I didn't want to do swatches, but look what I'm doing. I'm doing freaking swatches. It'll be fine. I'll just wipe them off on my pants or my shirt. I'll wipe them off on my shirt because if Josh comes home and sees that I legit have makeup on these pajama pants, he will kill me. But yeah, it's just gorgeous, you guys. It's gorgeous. And it's a different type of, it leans more pink. You've got a pink shimmer, a pink metallic, and this is like a coral a lot of these are very pink based even this shade right here um streaking this is a matte it's a brown but it is more on like the pinkish side that's pretty i love this palette i do plan to pan this out obviously this one did fall out but i do plan to pan this out and repurchase this in the future. It is one of my favorites. I, I use it on a daily basis. It's really good. I don't know what I'm going to do with the shimmers on my hand. That's okay though. Next one is, this is the Lorac Matte Pro. This is the mini, or it may just be the Lorac Pro Matte eyeshadow. That's what it says. It's used y'all. It's used. I have one, two, three pans and I'm getting ready to hit pan in that shade as well. All matte palette, so good for travel, so good, so easy to throw in your purse, so compact, very thin. There's a cat right there. Pumba! It's my Pumba kitty. It's a great palette. I've had this for a very long time. I'm surprised it performs the way it does. It's, it's old, but I'm using it up and I'm going to get it out of my collection. 
Um, I think when this one is panned out, I want to get one of the newer Lorac palettes. The ones that they just, like, released. The, the bigger ones. The ones that have, like, 30 eyeshadows in them. Because I love Lorac's formula a lot. It's a great formula. It's really, really good. The mattes. So, Lorac does have a very powdery matte formula, if I'm going to be honest. But it is so pigmented, you have to be very careful with how much you use. Just putting that out there. But I love this palette. It's been in my collection for a while. It's getting ready to be cycled out because it's about done. It's about on the verge. Alright, I've got three Too Faced palettes, actually. This is the Too Faced I Want Candy. This was released in 2017. I should probably not even be using this on my eyes. But it still performs very, very well. And that is what it looks like. This was the collab that they did with Candy Johnson. It's good. My favorite shade is Sugar Plum. I'm going to have to swatch this. It is my favorite shade in the palette. It is... It's gorgeous. It's a purpley plum... So good. I did, didn't I hit pan in this? I did. I hit pan in this shade right here. I use this shade a lot, the shade Ice Cream, to set my eyeshadow primer when I use my eyeshadow primer. It's a barely a little pan. It's barely there, but it's there. But it's there. I have a kitty that's crying. What is it? Shinzi, bless her little heart, cries all day long. <laughs> yeah, but... It's, it's a great palette. Um, neutral, but not at the same time. Because you still have, you got Sugared Strawberry, which is a pink. Frosted Pink. Sugar Plum. Raspberry Cocoa. You have a taupe that's more of a, a gray. So you have your, your berries, some pinks, and then your goldens, your browns, that kind of vibe as well as three shades this is this can be used as a setting powder which is a banana cream pie then you have ice cream which I use as a um what's the word eyeshadow primer setter and then whipped cream which is a highlighter it is yeah very very shiny it's a very uh, it's a very shiny one so that shade whipped cream it's great I, I've had this, this palette for a very long time. I am trying to use it up the best I can, and then I will, obviously, I cannot purchase this anymore because it is no longer sold and hasn't been sold for a while. Again, kind of surprised it still performs the way it does. Then I have two more Too Faced palettes, and this is nothing against Too Faced. These are actually some of my, my favorite palettes that I really have loved over the years. This is the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte. I, again, I don't think this is available anymore. Let's do it this way. This is an all matte palette, peachy tones. <sighs> Still smells like peaches. <sighs> yeah. Not all neutral, you guys. It's not a neutral palette. You've got one, two, three kind of neutrals. Then you have some lights. You can tell this stuff on my desk. <laughs> some light colors to set eyeshadow primer. And then you have more of the darker tones, which I guess are neutral. But they lean more toward the burgundy vibes. Let's do it right here. So that... Shinzi! Goodness gracious. I don't know if y'all can hear her, but she's a crying. So, yeah, that is that palette. Again, I don't think I can repurchase it. I do love it. I think the quality of this particular palette is really, really good. I just don't... I don't find myself reaching for this as much as I thought I would, and that's, re that's the reason why it's in my everyday makeup collection, to force me to pick up this palette and use it. I just never really did before. I don't know. And then I have the White Peach. This one is my favorite. I love this palette so much, and I wish it was still available. But it is in my everyday makeup routine. Again, it is an older palette, so I don't know how much life it's got left in it. But I love this palette. 
these tones look really good on my on my eyes and on my skin tone which I was really really surprised about if I'm gonna be honest a lot of people when this palette came out they didn't like it and I can understand why it is a little more of a drier formula it's a little harder to work with it's more like the shimmers for instance glistening peach peace ice peach passion they're harder pressed and they have more glitter in them which makes them a little bit harder to use especially peach ice you can tell it is very very chunky doesn't go on as smooth you have to really kind of press but it has it's got glitter in there y'all it, it's glitter and then peach passion is a deep deep drier drier formula but it's beautiful it it truly is beautiful I love let me swatch a matte peach smoothie oh this is my favorite shade of the palette this light beautiful beautiful pink again very very hard for me to show you <laughs> one of my favorite palettes. I truly wish that this was permanent, but it is not. So I do plan to use it up. It'll be a very sad day when it happens because I love that palette. Next we have one by Jeffree Star. This is the mini orgy palette. This uh, was the first release. I had the first and the second. So this was the problematic one where some of the pans were too hardly pressed. There was an issue in production and he ended up sending everyone either I think a refund or a new palette and I got the new palette they're harder to work with I'm gonna be honest this shade right here gagging if you can tell I have dug my brush into that trying to get that shade to work it's very difficult now some of them are great the shade bathhouse so smooth so buttery so gorgeous right there Another shade, Soaking Sun. This is the golden. So hard to do this, you guys. Just that literal one swipe. Those were great shades. The shade Glass Wet was a no. It literally don't have a makeup wipe. Ah, I done this through. We'll do the, my thumb. Glass Wet was a no. It's very see-through. It is very, very chunky. It, yeah it's it is glass wet because I can't get it to work. oh there goes my palettes it's just a no so I have both palettes this is the bad one and then I have another one that's actually a lot better performing but I'm gonna try to use this one up best I can get get what I can out of it because it's still a gorgeous gorgeous palette and then I'll move on to my my newer one I do use that one. I do use it. It's just sometimes a pain. If I'm going to be honest, it is a pain to cooperate. I have this Marc Jacobs. Again, y'all, I said this was a lot of palettes I had in my like whole declutter, not declutter, but um, project pan every day. This is the Marc Jacobs 790 Fantasy palette. More pinky tones. So gorgeous. I, y'all, I decluttered this, and then I, when I was going through the declutter pile after that video, I was like, I can't get rid of this. I can't. I will force myself to use it. I have a cat that just decided to make an appearance. Oh, Puma Kitty. Oh, Puma Kitty. Oh, to be a cat. Hello. Anyway. I decluttered this, decided I couldn't do it, brought it back out, and just decided to make it in my everyday makeup routine. He's just going to walk back and forth. Hi, bud. Oh, we're licking mommy now. So, it's gorgeous. The quality is so good. I just, like, for some reason when I decluttered it, I was like, I just, I'm never going to use it. It's just the same boring colors, and it is. You can get these colors in any palette, no demand but I paid so much money for this and I want to be able to get my money's worth out of it so I just decided to take it out and put it in the everyday to force myself to use it two more y'all two more just two more I have swatches all over me 
All right. This is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. This is the Bling Bling Bloss Bling Boss palette. Love this palette. I don't know if this is available or not. I know that Jaclyn has made like 400 different collabs with Morphe. I don't know if this is available or not. So many people had issues with this, but this was actually my favorite. This is like my one of my favorite purple palettes. Oh, do I want to swatch it? I'm going to do it. Oh my god. It's it's so good. That one is ballsy. We have glitz and glam. I know there's still stuff on my fingers, you guys. I'm sorry. Then bling bling. We'll do it on my like wrist. It's gorgeous. That one's chunka. Let's pull that out. Yeah. I loved it. I, I absolutely loved it. We'll do a matte. Let's do mystic. Dark, dark purple. It was good. I, I love it. Again, this is, this is old. Uh, this was another, I think, limited edition. Don't know if you can still get it. And I want to just use it up and get it out of my collection because I have a lot of other purples that I definitely could dupe out of that palette so it's so good though it really is Jacqueline did such a good job with this I'm I just I was impressed I know I know I know a lot of other people weren't but my palette was great and I loved it so I've gotten my money out of it it is what it is the last palette I have you guys has to be one of the worst palettes I have ever used in my entire life I'm not even kidding and this is the Sephora Fresh Florals Eye Stories palette. This is what it looks like. It's beautiful packaging. It's got that trifle thing going on. These are the colors. Okay. The way my mind works. Eyeshadow base. I can use this color in the crease. This is to deepen it up. Use that as a shimmer. Okay. This. I just look at this and I get angry. Can y'all tell the hunk, the chunk that has come out of that eyeshadow? I've used this twice. It is so powdery. It is so soft. When you go to swatch it, it looks phenomenal. Where can I do this? But it is very lackluster. I won't do this on my other hand. So let's do it this way. That's the other one. That is the gold. It looks gorgeous. Y'all. When you go to dip your brush in these shadows, it crumbles. That is why that hole is so big in this palette. I have tried everything. I have tried using my finger to put on the, the eyeshadows. It doesn't perform. It doesn't stay on my face. I have tried glitter glue. I have tried like every single thing that I can think of and I can't get it to work. So I am not going to be purchasing any more of these little trifle Sephora palettes because it is not worth it. I think I only paid, I think this was like a $7 palette or something. Like it was on sale at Sephora. Now I know why. It's so bad. I will not be repurchasing ever. So now that I am fully engulfed in eyeshadow. <laughs> that is it for this video, you guys. This is, again, my everyday makeup, what I will be using up, either getting rid of, and repurchasing. So, I hope that you found this video at least entertaining. But that is it. I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.